Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Got a couple of things to talk about in this video. Want to talk about the number of games that have been coming to Steam, especially in 2017. We're talking just pure numbers in this video. And then we've also got confirmation of a cult classic, an absolutely terrific game finally coming to PC later this year. More on that in a little bit. First, let's talk about the enormous amount of games that have been coming to Steam in 2017. If you guys have been gaming on PC and following game releases on Steam, you guys know that there are a ton of new games every week, even every day. We're talking on some days you see upwards of 10 games released in a single day. In a week, sometimes it tops over 50 games, and that's just a crazy amount of games. A lot of these games are shovelware. They're definitely not the biggest games in the world, but every week, you tend to find three to five gems that you can add to your wish list and you can check out when they do go on sale. However, a lot of these games do really go underlooked. I mean, when you have an enormous number of games releasing, it's just hard for Steam and Valve to allocate a proper amount of marketing for each game. You see marketing catered towards different users depending on what games they play and whatnot, and I think that's a good idea. But still, given the quantity of games that have been coming on Steam, it's just absolutely crazy. And an actual number is that over a thousand games have been released on Steam since Steam Direct was introduced back in June. That's about two months and change. A thousand games in that time period is absolutely crazy. And 2017, up until this point in September, has already released more games than were released in the entirety of 2015. And if you look at Steam game releases from 2006 to 2014, you combine that all up, 2017 has had more game releases than that entire cumulative time period. I mean, I hope you guys understand how absolutely freaking crazy that is, how quickly Steam has grown in just the last few years. Now, 2016 was a mega year too, but 2017 is on track to beat that handily. And that's just crazy. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. Do you like that there's so many games on Steam? Or for you, is it more of you find the games that you're interested in, those big games? Like the PUBGs of the world are obviously gonna be huge, but then for every PUBG, you know, there's a thousand, fifteen hundred games that just go completely underlooked. Yeah. Yes, PUBG is an enormous successful game and kudos to the developers on that. It's great that they're making a ton of money. It's great that a lot of money is being put into PC games through PUBG. But then you've got all those other games that really are getting no attention whatsoever and maybe deservedly so. Maybe they aren't the best games in the world, but they're still releasing on Steam and I don't know. For me, I do like it, but I do know that a lot of people just think Steam's marketplace is just way overblown. There's way too many games and there should be more of a process to get your games on Steam. I really don't know what to think. Yes, there's an issue of quantity versus quality, but quality games still do exist on Steam, so is that really an issue? You've got the quantity too, you've got things like Steam Review, so before buying a game, you know if it's good or not. You've got Steam Refund, so it's really not a big deal, but still, let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section down below. Just the sheer number of games on Steam. I don't know if it's something that you guys like, like, dislike, don't even care about. Like I said, there's so many people that just focus on their top three to five games every year, and that's all they care about, and then everything else is just kind of a relevant to them, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, do want to give a mention to a very exciting game headed over to PC. Okami HD is finally coming to PC. Okami is a fantastic game, originally released on PS2. A lot of people compared it to like Zelda, and I definitely see those comparisons. It's a very artistic game. I mean, just looking at the game, it's not technically amazing at this point, but art design and art direction, it's superb. And when it released, I believe back in 2006, it got a lot of Game of the Year awards. Unfortunately, while it did see a lot of critical acclaim commercially, it didn't perform all too well. There was a follow-up title on the DS, I believe, Okami Den. But outside of that, we never saw an Okami 2. Maybe if Okami HD performs well, if it sells well, maybe an Okami 2 can happen in the future. But nonetheless, Okami finally coming to PC is very exciting. If you guys have never played it, I implore you, definitely keep your eyes on this. It comes December 12th, and it will look better than the PS2 version, of course, and while you can emulate the game, come on, this is one where Capcom definitely deserves your money. And for those of you on PS4 or Xbox One, it will be coming to those platforms as well. It's PS4, Xbox One, PC, no Switch, which is kind of surprising. Okami did come out on the Wii, so you would think it would come to the Switch, but nonetheless, I know you guys probably don't care about that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below on Okami HD coming to PC as well, and like I said, let me know your thoughts on the sheer volume of games that are coming to Steam. It's definitely got its positives and negatives. I fall in somewhere between, but I definitely am interested to see what you guys think. As always, guys, thanks for watching. If you have a request for a future video, you can leave it in the comments section down below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.